we have a circle with center O and a straight line that is outside the circle. Let's call it L. And a point P is moving on the, on the straight line. So it is moving along the straight line. We want to draw tangents from P to the circle. So if the point P is here, if the point P is here, then the tangents will be like this. The tangents will touch the circle at two points. So we will draw those, join those two points. And suppose the midpoint is X. So X is the midpoint of MN. We want to show that the locus of X, so this is the goal, locus of X is a circle. And I discussed this in the previous lecture that this is an example of an inversion. So you should watch the previous video. Inversion of P gives X. This is the big picture. We don't need to know this big picture to do this problem. We don't need to know this big picture to do this problem. But there are many other problems which uses inversion. So it's a good thing to know about it. What is the idea? The idea is this and this is a re quick recap. Suppose there is a circle. Maybe I can make this larger and there is a maybe this radius of the circle is um, one. I can make it a little bit better, I guess. So suppose the radius of the circle is one. And we have a point outside this circle. Let's call it P. Then the inverse of P is a point Q point Q on OP on the line on the segment OP such that or the ray OP such that such that OP times OQ is equal to 1. So Q will be somewhere here. Why? Because if OP is greater than 1, of course it is because it's outside the circle then OQ will be less than 1 and less than 1 means Q is inside the circle. The radius of the circle is 1, remember. So this was the notion of inversion. What I wanted to say here is that this particular construction gives us the inverse of P. This is the construction of the inverse of P. So how do you, so this is my Q basically. How do you find out the inverse of P? Well, you draw two tangents from P to the circle. You join the point of tangencies and take the midpoint. And you can easily show that X is the inverse of P. So let me quickly focus on this idea once because this will be very useful in the long run. How do we show, what do we need to show to check X is an inverse of P? How do we check that? Well, first thing is we have to show that O, X and P is in the same straight line. Same line. So you can check that. If you have three points, if you have three points, they may not lie on the same straight line. So that's the first condition. We must, X must lie on the same straight line as OP. X must lie on OP. So check that OXP is in the same line. And the second thing is OX times OP is equal to 1. Remember, none of this is required to show that the locus of X is a circle. I'm sort of taking a long route 
to solve this problem. After all, we want to learn something from this problem. And what we want to learn is inversion. So it's better to understand it. So show that OXP is in the same straight line and show that OX times OP is equal to one. Now, how do we show that OX times OP is equal to one? Well, I'll give you a construction first. Join OM, join OM. Now, the triangle OMX, OMX, maybe I can zoom a little bit more. OMX is similar to the triangle OMP. Why? Why are these two triangles similar? Can you show that these two triangles similar? Uh, if you can, put a comment, uh, put the proof in the comment section. Tell me how you can show it. Okay. <clears throat> now, once you show that this is similar, you can easily use similarity. So remember these two, this is this angle is 90 degree. This angle is 90 degree. And how do you know it's 90 degree? Well, when you show that these two are similar, you have to show that they're 90 degrees using some method, which you will write in the comment section. So give it a try. If we know that, we know OM, which is opposite to this 90 degree angle over OP is equal to, so now we have to check the angle, the other angle. So the other angle is, let's take this one. This angle would be equal to this angle. How do we know that? How do we know that these two angles are equal? Well, again, when you show OMX is similar to OMP, you will be able to show it. So give it a try. So that means OX divided by OX divided by OM. So cross multiplying, we have OM square equals to OX times OP. So OM is one because it's the radius. So OX times OP is one. That's the proof. Okay. So given that O if we already know that OXP is on the same straight line, this is something you should be proving. So give it a try. Try to first prove it that OX and P are on the same straight line. If you can prove that, and if you can prove that this red triangle is similar to OMP, then what I just said is the proof that OX times OP is equal to one. That means X is indeed the inverse of P. You see, it's not only useful to solve a problem. You have to see the big picture, why this problem is beautiful. And that's the story of Math Olympiad. That's the story of ISI entrance. Every problem will tell you a story. Every problem will tell you, teach you something. So unless and until you learn that thing, it's not just interesting to solve the problem. You have to learn what the problem is trying to teach you. Okay. Okay. Now, remember what we wanted to show. We wanted to show that the locus of X is a circle. So I'll just draw the circle so that you can visualize it sort of. I drew it in the previous picture as well, in the previous video as well. So the circle that we want is, will look like this. Maybe I can draw it in green. We don't know there is a circle or not. Maybe if we can take another point P prime and if we join that, we will have another point Q prime uh, or maybe I can draw it like, I can say X prime maybe. Let's call it X prime. So we have X and X prime. So somehow we need to show that O X X prime, that circle, any three points will define a circle. Three non-collinear points will define a circle. So this circle is the locus of the point X. How do you show it? Uh, write a proof in the description, uh, in the comment section, 
and uh, you can also go to the link in the description to go to our website it has many beautiful problems and online classes on outstanding mathematics uh, from school and colleges all right stay well and i'll see you in the next video where we will discuss more about this problem